Welcome to Atlas. In this screencast, you'll learn how to use the Atlas build system to automatically generate PDF, EPUB, MOBI, and HTML outputs. First, sign into the Atlas system. Enter your email address and your password. To build outputs for a given project, select that project from the projects list. Edit the content to prepare it for output. For more information on editing content in the Atlas Visual Editor, see that corresponding screencast on authoring and editing in Atlas. Once you have all of your content ready to be built, click on the Configure tab to set the configuration settings for your builds. Setting up configuration is typically a one-time process to get the settings the way you want. Under Formats, you can select settings corresponding to each of the different output formats. For the PDF output format, you have the option of outputting either a print or a web version of the PDF. The print version of the PDF is optimized for being printed on an offset or print-on-demand printer. As such, it contains crop marks and is ready for printing. The web version of the output is designed for reading on computer screens, tablet devices, smartphones, and other digital devices. It is designed to have clickable hyperlinks and to have navigation bookmarks for easy use on screen. For each output format, you have the option to choose whether or not to generate a table of contents or an index. For EPUB output, you also have the option of running EPUB check, which is a validator to ensure that your EPUB output conforms to the official EPUB specification. All EPUBs output by the Atlas system are EPUB3 files that are conformant with the latest version of the EPUB specification. These EPUB3 files are also backward compatible with legacy e-reader devices such as the Sony Reader and Nook that only support EPUB2 content. Atlas produces EPUB files that will work seamlessly on all modern e-readers. Once you've selected settings for your different output formats, you next choose a theme for your output. To change the theme associated with a book, click the Change Theme button. The Atlas system comes with two ready-to-go templates that you can use for outputting your content. The first is the Tradebook theme. You can see on the left-hand panel an illustration of what the chapter opener page looks like in the Tradebook theme. The Tradebook theme is 5.5 by 8.5 inches and is designed for largely textual content such as fiction, prose, and essays. The second theme that is available out of the box in the Atlas system is the technical book theme. This theme is designed for reference books and textbooks. It is optimized for the inclusion of such formal elements as tables, sidebars, figures with captions, code listings, and equations. In addition to the two themes that are available in the Atlas system, you have the option of designing a custom theme. All Atlas themes are written in CSS3. For PDF output, we use the CSS3 page media specification to set the parameters for different pages. We'll discuss CSS theme development in more depth in another screencast. Once you've selected your theme, you then choose the files that you would like included in the build. In the Files section, you will see two columns. On the left column, you'll see a listing of project files, and in the right column, you'll see a listing called Files to Build. The Files to Build list represents the manifest for your content, similar to a book file in Adobe InDesign. In the Files to Build list, you indicate exactly which files you would like included in your outputs and in which order. To add files to the Files to Build list, simply click on the corresponding file in the Project Files listing, and it will be added to the end of the Files to Build list. You can then rearrange files in the Files to Build list by clicking on the icon to the left of the file icon and dragging the files to the desired location. If you would like to remove a file from the Files to Build list, click the corresponding X on the right side of the file. For this build, we will include simply Chapter 1. So we'll remove chapters 5, 4, 3, 2, and the appendix from the build. 
To save the settings you've made throughout the page, simply click the Save Settings button. Now it's time to build our outputs. To do so, we return to the dashboard for the project. On the right side of the project's dashboard, you'll see a column entitled Builds. Here is where you select the outputs that you would like built for your project. Let's build all four outputs for this project. We'll click the checkboxes next to PDF, EPUB, MOBI, and HTML to build all four output formats. Then we simply click Build. This kicks off builds behind the scenes on the Atlas server, which operate in real time. Typically, it takes anywhere from just a few seconds to closer to a minute for each of the builds to complete, depending on the size of the content. The HTML build has now completed, as have Mobi and PDF. Finally, the EPUB build has completed. Let's take a look at the PDF that was output. To do so, we click the download link next to the PDF checkbox. Now we are looking at the PDF output from the content in the Atlas system in the technical template that we selected. As you can see, a table of contents was automatically generated for Chapter 1, which was the only chapter we included in the build. You'll notice that the code listings are color-coded using the syntax highlighting capabilities that were automatically included in the Atlas build system. You'll also notice the special design elements that we've used for figures, as well as notes, such as the Try It Now, and finally, a sidebar. To further illustrate how changes made on the Configuration tab affect the builds, let's go back to the Configure tab and change some settings for our PDF. This time, let's choose to build a print PDF, and let's change the theme from the technical book theme to the trade book theme. We'll click Save Settings again and return to the dashboard. This time we'll generate just the PDF. Again, it will take several seconds to generate the PDF as this is happening live. Now that the PDF has generated, let's again click the download link. As you can see, the PDF is now generated in a different theme, our tradebook theme. And because we've chosen a print formatted PDF, the PDF includes crop marks along the edges. As you can see, with the click of the button, we've completely changed the design of the output. What makes the Atlas system so powerful is that we separate the content which you edit in Atlas with the presentation which is specified in the themes. This makes it possible with the click of a button to alter the theme associated with a given project and to apply the same theme to multiple projects in the system, making it easy to develop different book series for producing outputs in Atlas. Now let's rebuild the EPUB, MOBI, and HTML outputs in our technical theme. We'll return to the Configure tab and switch the theme back to Technical Book. Again, we'll click Save Settings. We'll return to the dashboard and select builds for EPUB, MOBI, and HTML and click Build. An additional feature that the Atlas system offers is the ability to see the build log for any given output. By clicking the Build Log button, I can see a list of messages that indicate what is happening when the build is completed. You can see the build log for any build. As you can see in the PDF build log, there is lots of helpful information such as the page count for the build, as well as any warnings that are associated. As you can see, even though we've checked the Generate Index checkbox for this build, because this book does not contain an index, Atlas gives us a warning that there was no index generated. Now let's take a look at the EPUB build from Atlas. Click on the download link next to EPUB. 
Then we'll open our EPUB in the iBooks Reader for Mac. Here is how our EPUB looks using the Atlas technical theme. When you choose a theme in Atlas, you'll notice that there are complementary style sheets designed for each of the different output formats. For EPUB, this is what the corresponding technical theme design looks like. As you can see, again, our code is syntax highlighted using color coding for its different semantics. You'll also see that our notes have rules atop and below them. And you'll see an example of our Try It Now element, as well as formal examples, and a sidebar at the end. Now let's return to Atlas and download our Mobi file. We'll click the download link next to the Mobi. Now we'll open our Mobi file in the Kindle Previewer software emulator for the Mac. As you can see, the content is again styled using our technical theme. Again, as before, our code is syntax highlighted, and we have special styling for notes, such as the Try It Now, as well as sidebars. All movies generated by Atlas are created in the latest Kindle format KF8. Mobi files are also backward compatible with the legacy Mobi 7 format, which means they will also be optimized for legacy Kindle readers, such as older Kindle e-ink devices that only support the Mobi 7 format. To illustrate this, we'll switch to Kindle e-ink mode and switch to the Kindle DX. As you can see, the content is still optimized given the constraints of legacy e-ink devices. Finally, let's download and review our HTML output. To do so, we'll click on the download link next to HTML. Atlas generates HTML as a zip archive of all the content that is in your project. To view this content, you can simply download, unzip the archive, and open the files in your web browser. Let's open Chapter 1 in the Safari browser. As you can see, here is our HTML content. As with other formats, you can design your own custom CSS style sheets in a custom theme to customize further the look and feel of your output. The HTML output produced by Atlas is ready to be published on the web. Simply upload the files in the HTML zip file to your web provider and you're ready to go. As you can see, Atlas is not just a powerful platform for publishing ebook outputs but it is also a powerful content management system that you can use to publish content to the web. As an example of what's possible in Atlas, let's take a look at what O'Reilly has done to create a custom website for its Raspberry Pi cookbook. Here's the project for Raspberry Pi cookbook in Atlas. Let's click on the Connecting an LED chapter. As you can see, we've embedded a YouTube video directly into the content which is playable within the Atlas editor. Here the author of the Raspberry Pi cookbook is adding an LED to the Raspberry Pi board. Below the video is text and graphic content to teach the reader how to perform the same process. Using the Atlas build system, we were able to publish the HTML output to O'Reilly's website. Let's take a look at what the final site looked like. As you can see, we've designed a custom table of contents page using Atlas's custom theming capabilities, which we will discuss in more depth in another screencast. You can see that each chapter in the book has a custom table of contents entry along with the graphic. Let's take a look at the chapter for connecting an LED. And here's what the final product looks like. As in the Atlas editor, there is an embedded YouTube video, 
as well as the same text and graphic content below with our code listing syntax highlighted. Additionally, we have a mini table of contents page in the right panel of every chapter. as well as a banner ad for discussing the content on the GitHub site, and a buy the book graphic in the bottom right corner. This concludes our overview of the Atlas build system. In an upcoming screencast, we will discuss Atlas's CSS theming capabilities in more depth and show you how you can make your own custom themes for use with projects in the Atlas system.